<laughs> made in China, just in case I'm on one of my throwaway. But <clears throat> anyone else fucking raging watching the scenes in London? I heard there was about 10 lads guarding that Churchill memorial, that Churchill statue, only for the police to come and remove them, to move them out of the way so that scumbags could deface it. Like, what is going on? What is going on when the police, who are meant to be there to maintain, maintain the law, they're meant to be there to protect statues, to prevent people de desecrating them, and defacing them. But instead, they move the people where? Who are there to protect them? I just see, I don't know how many more of you have seen. I've seen someone's put up for a unity demonstration in London next Saturday. Do you know what? If you're a lad, or you call yourself a lad, and you're a football lad, and you go to football, and you, you give a shit at all about our country, our history, our culture, our identity, I expect you're going to be in London next Saturday. Because you know what? And this is such a shame on the police. Because people, the British public, shouldn't feel the need to travel into the capital city. We should know that you're going to police them arseholes. Those total scumbags. Your job is to police those streets. Unfortunately, you've let them do what they're doing. Whilst the media report it as they're peaceful protesters. Whilst 27 police officers are put in hospital. And you've let them go and deface and spray paint... Churchill statue, you arseholes. How you can't expect people... To, the British public won't sit by and watch that shit. So what you're going to end up with next Saturday is every lad in London, or every lad who's any sort, if you call yourself a man, will be in London protecting those war memorials. Unity, I've seen, I've seen the late... I'm not organising it. I've, seen, I've just seen it, I've seen it getting floated about. I'll be there reporting on it for people. But how the hell the police can allow that to happen? How can they think that's acceptable? You see, they've just pulled down some statue from 1700. 300 years old. Who gives a shit what it's about or what the man done? It's part of British history. What are you going to start with next? Churchill said this, that's what... Next, if this isn't stopped next Saturday, they'll be ripping Churchill's statue down. Then it'll be William Gladstone's statue. Because he said Islam in a man, he, he held a Quran above his head and he made bigoted comments about Islam. Then they'll pull his statue down. You know what, you scumbag protesters? You want to pull a statue down? Start with the BBC. It's a paedophile who created a sculpture of a naked boy being held by a man. How come you don't rip that down? Because most of you fucking sympathise with it. So how anyone is so... I'll just sit there watching it just thinking, what is going on? What's happening? This protest today, you know, Anthony Joshua, you got anything to say about this shit? Hey? You got anything to say about what they've done to Churchill's statue? Or you think he's a racist as well, do you? Hey? What about Little Mix? You were there, weren't you? Hey? Well, you support the defacing of our Churchill statue, do you? Every one of you fucking celebrities, all jumping on your little virtue signaling bandwagon. Bullshit. Every one of you just wanting to show yourselves with a little BLM sign. Whilst you're defacing, every one of you has organised that. Everyone who's encouraged that supports that shit. Why ain't you down there cleaning it up? Oh, I bet we don't see none of you celebrities down there getting that shit off of those statues. That man died fighting the biggest racist in our history. That man, died, that man led our country through that fucking war. How many people sacrificed their lives in that war? And you just turn up and think you can deface it. You spoiled, virtue signalling little shits. Oh, man. So, how many people are going to London next Saturday? Every single man should be in London next Saturday. Or forever, don't call yourself a patriot. Don't call yourself a patriot. There's no good sitting behind your keyboard with all these scumbags, masked up scumbags, think they're going to go rip, rip Churchill's statue down, because they're not. And Metropolitan Police, you're fucked up big time with this one, because next Saturday, watch what you're going to have in London. You're going to have fucking thousands of men who ain't going to let them march through that city and smash the shit out of everything. And it's your fault, no one else's. You've done it. You've created it through your weak, bullshit, political policing. Where you stand there, you let your police officers get smashed off horses. 
You let your police officers get terrorised in our capital city. You embarrass, you embarrass your police force in front of the whole world to watch because you're too soft-handed, because they're not fucking white, basically. You then enforce the law because there's too many people who aren't white and you don't know what to do, do you? You don't even draw your batons, you don't put your riot gear on. You let your officers get clapped from the side. You're watching police officers get sideswiped and punched and kicked all over the floor. And you don't enforce the law, why not? What's your problem? Oh man, I'm, I'm just watching it and I'm getting so fucking angry. Just thinking, how the fuck can you let that happen in our capital city? How can you move? It's not that you let it happen. You purposely let it happen. You moved the men out of the way that were there to protect that statue. And you made sure that those people could come and vandalise it. Piers Morgan, any celebrity who has supported this bullshit, those 27 injured police officers, it's on your hands, okay? I think 70% of people killed in police custody in the United States are white. You talk about white privilege. 600,000 crimes were committed in the United States last year by black people against white people. 60,000 crimes were committed by white people against black people. Don't bring this bullshit, bullshit politics to our country because we haven't got it. That racial tensions that they might have in the United States, we don't have based on race. Race politics, which BLM, you've done more to break down race fucking integration in this country than anyone's tried to do. Much more than the National Front ever done. Look what you've done. Look what you're doing. The divide that you're about to create in this country is fucking going to be un unrecognisable. And you've done it. They've been allowed to do it. It's funded by all these far left organisations. Antifa. And they're supported by politicians. The Labour Party supported that today. The Labour Party. How fucking weak. Anyway, next Saturday, I'll see you all in London. Because my blood pressure's about to go. I can't believe what's come of our country. And that statue like you did in Bristol today, and there's not going to be a British public there to confront you about it. You're wrong. You watch next Saturday how many people turn up.